Hello everybody, welcome to another video about the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the Black Serpent, which is the fourth adventure pack in the Haradrim cycle. And this follows on from the last adventure, Beneath the Sands. Uh, the story thus far is that we've escaped from the spider's lair, Beneath the Sands, and we're now on the tail of the Black Serpent's caravan, uh, there on the way to uh, deliver tribute to the Dark Lord. And the caravan has made a stop at the Crossroads Fort, so we are going to try to uh, infiltrate the camp and attack the Black Serpent. Uh, the quest itself is difficulty 8, so no pushover by any means. I wouldn't say it was on the same level as Karn Doom though, which is a crazy quest. Um, but nevertheless, it's still quite tough, and I think this is definitely hard when you play it blind, because of course usually you try to complete quests as quickly as possible, um, but this one really punishes you if you go to stage 2 without being ready for it. So the deck I'm going to use to play this quest is a Dunehir deck. Dunehir is a really fun hero. Uh, he can target enemies in the staging area when he attacks alone, and when doing so he gets plus 1 attack. Uh, old core set favourite. But I'm also going to be using him with Fast Dread. This has become a pretty standard uh, lineup now, hero lineup, Fast Dread and Eowyn. Uh, Fast Dread's the hero that came in this pack, and he's got that really nice ability that synergizes with Dune here. Uh, after Fast Dread defends an enemy attack, return it to the staging area to reduce your threat by 2. Uh, so typically with Dune here decks, you want to keep your threat low so that you don't have to engage enemies, and you can snipe them off with Dune here. So Fast Dread uh, keys into both aspects of that. He lowers your threat by 2 and puts it back in the staging area so that you can kill it off uh, with Dune here. And then Eowyn uh, gives us 4 willpower for questing, which is awesome. Uh, reduces your threat by a further 3 in setup, and she gives you access to tactics so that you can play weapons onto Dune here, and armor onto Fast Dread as well. I don't have any armor in this hand, unfortunately, uh, but hopefully I'll draw some soon. And we've also got that action, uh, that special ability where we can raise our threat by 3 to get plus 9 attack for Eowyn. Uh, which is really useful in this quest because we've got the Black Serpent in the staging area who we need to kill at the end of the game. Uh, but there can also be times where you have enemies, like you can get an enemy who's the Scytheron champion, or an enemy that gets an objective attachment that makes it very difficult to kill with Dune here. So her ability uh, gives you a kind of backup way of dealing with those enemies as well. Uh, so really fun deck. Um, this is a pretty standard lineup, like I said, and a fairly standard build. Uh, my build's got a couple of cards different to the ones I've seen posted on RingsDB. I'm using Riddermark's Finest to give a little bit of location control and one or two different allies, but yeah, it's a deck that builds itself really. You play lots of two-cost spirit questers, weapons for Dune here, and draw cards to get more weapons um, and uh, bits of armor out of the deck. And we've got Steward of Orthanc, who's a recently released card. When you play an event, and there's a fair amount of events in the deck, we've got Test of Will, uh, Hasty Stroke, um, Sterner Than Steel, and one other event that I can't remember right now. We can give it Doomed 1 to draw a card, and yeah, you cannot trigger the ability if you've triggered the ability of a Steward of Orthanc this round. So it means you can only get one um, card a turn from him, but he's really useful as well to keep the deck moving along. So that's the deck. In terms of the quest itself, uh, we've got this um, setup here where we have to set the three Harad objectives aside out of play. We add the Black Serpent to the staging area, so let's have a quick look at him. Uh, he is 50 engagement cost, 0 threat, 2 attack, 1 defense, and 8 health, so not that uh, threatening so far. Uh, cannot leave the staging area or take damage. X is the stage number of the main quest. The Black Serpent gets plus X threat, attack and defense, so right now he would be uh, 1 threat, 3 attack and 2 defense. And he's got that ability forced at the end of the encounter phase, either remove X progress from the main quest, or the Black Serpent makes an attack against the first player. So this um, keys into a theme that's been uh, in a couple of the quests in this cycle, which is around removing progress on the main quest, and the idea of the enemy is kind of catching up with you um, and slowing you down. So the way you want to play this um, quest is that you try to place a little bit of progress every turn on the main quest um, without necessarily going to stage 2b, just so that you can stop him uh, from making that attack on you every go. Uh, so that's the scenario. We've got the three objectives here as well. 
and you get one of these randomly uh, because you have to randomly select one, reveal it and add it to the staging area. Um, and each of those is different. Uh, they've got different abilities and they've got a new version of the guarded keyword. Um, if you choose or you select one randomly anyway, one of these, you have to discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you get a card that satisfies uh, the thing in parentheses there. So it says guarded enemy or location. That one can take either, whereas the summons has to be a location. Interestingly, it's slightly different because it's discarded um, and added to the staging area. It doesn't trigger surge. Uh, so there's a little bit of difference there. Um, but in terms of the rules, everything's the same as normal. There are no kind of special keywords in this quest, uh, which makes it quite quick and easy to play, even though it's relatively difficult. So that's an overview of the quest and the deck I'm going to play. Uh, now let's jump into a playthrough. All right, so I just did a playthrough using the hand that you saw there in the intro video, and it was a decent run. I made a couple of small mistakes, but it was a slog. It took 21 turns and it went on for 45 minutes. So I'm hoping that this run might be a little bit quicker. So I'm going to play it again um, and see how we get on. I've reset everything and I have got quite a nice starting hand here. Um, very nice actually, because I've got a piece of armor for Fastred, two weapons for Dune here, a little bit of draw and some questing power, which I really like to see on turn one. So I'm going to keep this, I'm not going to mulligan. Uh, very happy with that. Let's follow the setup. So we set each Harad objective aside out of play. Add the Black Serpent to the staging area. Let's uh, figure out his stats. So he is going to be one threat, three attack, and two defense on stage one. Uh, we randomly select one set aside Harad objective, reveal it, and add it to the staging area. So I'll do this by random number. And we'll just do one to six, and the banner will be one and two, the garb three and four, and this five and six. Let's see what we get. Six. Okay, we've got the summons. So that's all right. It's not great for this deck because it means I cannot trigger Fast Red's ability. Um, it's guarded by a location, so let's do that, do that first. Okay, well, there goes Southron Champion. Um, guarded by the worst possible location, unfortunately, the Serpent's Redoubt. Uh, it says, while summons from Mordor is attached to an encounter card, each player's threat cannot be reduced, so I can't actually trigger Fast Red's response. Action, exhaust summons from Mordor and raise your threat by one to add one resource to attach hero's pool. So quite a nice ability on it. Um, unfortunately, it's added four threat with that redoubt on it, so we're going to be up against five on turn one. And this is very nasty. Uh, while the Serpent's Redoubt is in the staging area, it gains forced. After a player plays an ally from his hand, either remove one progress from the main quest or exhaust that ally. Travel the first player, searches the encounter deck and discard path for an enemy and puts it into play, engage with him, shuffle the encounter deck. Hmm, going to be tricky to sort that out. Okay, so we've done that. Flip the quest card. The Crossroads Fort. If a Harad objective is not attached, the first player claims it and attaches it to a hero he controls. This stage cannot be defeated unless each Harad objective in play is attached to a hero. Alright, let's go. Another Ancient Mathem. Well, we have a target for it, but um, it's not going to do me much good because I need to travel there first before I can clear it. So I think what I'm going to do is I will play the Ether Swordsman and I have to exhaust him because I can't take any progress off the quest. And I think I'm going to um, save my money for the Raiment of War rather than play a weapon onto Dune here. Um, I also lower my threat by three, by the way, and set up for AoN. I forgot about that. So I have to quest for four. I think I'll quest for five just to try to stop my threat from going up as much as possible. Um, it's probably going to go up here, but there we go. All right, reveal a card. Ruthless Tower. While it's in the staging area, it gains forced. When a player plays an event, either remove one progress from the main quest or cancel the effects of that event. Travel exhaust the hero to travel here. Hmm, that's going to be really tricky. Okay, well, I added two. So we go up by two threat. Now, I have to search the encounter deck and disc up for an enemy and put it into play engage with me to travel there. I think I've got to do that. Um, otherwise, I'm in big trouble. Uh, so I will travel there, and I must go and find an enemy. I will find the weakest possible enemy, which will be one of those guys. 
And when that engages you, either remove two progress on the main quest or enemies engage with you cannot take damage this round. Well, that's going to happen. There's nothing I can do about it. And then at the end of the encounter phase, he is going to make an attack, which unfortunately will be undefended. No plus attack though. So I'm going to put three damage onto Dune here. And then combat phase, he will do an attack. I will defend this with Fast Dread. Nothing, no damage. Um, I cannot trigger his ability because this is attached to the active location. Uh, so I'll just refresh. All right, another Rapid Swordsman. So I can play him now um, and probably put some progress on there. However, I would quite like to um, trigger both of these. So if I overquest, um, I'd need to do it on there. So I think what I might do is wait. Um, alternatively, I could just play him, I suppose. Really, I'll probably want to quest without next turn. Um, yeah, because I've got two enemies, so how am I going to deal with that? Well, first I'm going to put Raiment of War to Fast Dread. Uh, I think I might need a chump blocker here. We're going to be up against three. We can quest for six. Maybe I need to play the Rid of Mark's Finest to chump the Serpent Guard. And then quest through that next turn. This is really tricky. Most we could reveal is another one of these, which would be four, which would put us at seven. And we're going to be questing for six. So maybe I play the Swordsman, clear that out, get the summons, and then travel there next turn. I think that's the right play. Uh, so we'll play him for two. And those guys are going to go up to... Uh, three will power each, so I can quest with six, four, six with them, sorry. Uh, so I will probably quest for ten. And let's hope we get a progress on the main quest. So reveal one card. Desert Bastion, plus one threat for each rad object of the player's control. Very nice, only one threat. So we get six progress, four and two on there. Uh, so if that goes away, I will claim the summons from Mordor, and I will put those on to Fastred because now I can use them to give him money. And I will travel to the Roofless Tower. We'll go there. This has gone up to two threat. And I have to exhaust a hero to travel there, so I will exhaust Dune here. He would make an attack. I will stop that attack by taking a progress off the main quest, because I can do that. Um, at the end of the encounter phase, either remove X progress on the main quest, or the Black Serpent makes an attack against the first player, so he won't do that. Combat phase, give this guy a shadow card, I will defend. Either remove two progress on the main quest or return attacking enemy to the stage unit after this attack. Well, I was going to do that anyway, but he's going to do it on his own now. So he will bounce to the staging area, ready to be murdered by Dune here next turn. And I'm thinking, do I want to give him a resource? If I do, I could play the Ridder Mark's Finest and one of these, but I don't think I will. I'm going to play both of them on the active location next turn. Um, so... Let's just refresh. All right, test the will. Never a bad card to draw. I am going to play both of those onto the active location, so I'll be able to draw six when that leaves play, which is amazing. And then I will play the Spear of the Mark onto Dune here. So he will be attacking for five into the staging area. Quest will do ten again. Uh, we are going to be up against five. So there's a reasonable chance of clearing the active location here. Reveal one card, Scythron Archer, so we get two threats, so we get three progress, didn't quite make it. Um, he's got Archery 2, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we can't travel there, because we didn't clear the active location. Encounter phase, I think I will engage the Serpent Guard. And uh, his force effect will go off, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll take the progress off to stop the Black Serpent attacking me. And then I will defend this guy with Fast Dread, give him a Shadow Card, nothing. So I'll bounce him and lower my threat by two. And then I will kill him with Dune here. Uh, because he's not engaged with me anymore, so he can take damage now. And there is also Archery 2 to deal out. Uh, so I will do probably one and two. And I need to play these Ridder Mark's Finest next turn. So for that reason, I am going to use this, uh, and raise my threat by one and give him a resource. And then we will go to the next turn. Okay, Dagger of Western S or Honor Guard. I think he's going to die this turn if I play the dagger, so I'm going to play that. And then I can murder that archer. So we'll do 
uh, one two attack and then I'll spend two from Fast Red to play the Riddermark's finest so they can soak up one point of archery at least uh, maybe two if I decide I don't want to keep them and then I'll quest for ten again I think I might I think I'm going to quest for eleven try and do my best to clear it uh, we're going to be against one two three four five yeah we should definitely clear it okay reveal one card Desert Bastion so that's another two so we get four progress one two three four lovely so that will leave play and i can trigger both of these ancient madams and draw six one two three four five six very nice uh, although i don't really need all those weapons but it's good to get them out of the deck at least travel there in counter phase he's going to do an attack um i will probably take the progress off and then i could engage this archer um but maybe i don't want to risk the defense uh, let's figure out what Fastro's defense is. He's three attack and he's going to be four defense from now on. Um, I think I'll just leave him here. So I've got archery two. I'll do one and two. And that's about all the archery I can take for the rest of the game, I think. And then I'll come in and I'll absolutely murder that archer with uh, Dune here. He's going to be attacking four seven. So he will die and then refresh. All right, this feels like we've got this under control now, but it can still go wrong. Uh, this quest. So let's play this on Eowyn. So she will get five willpower. And that's probably all I'm going to do. I don't need these weapons right now. Um, I want to play this guy and I'd like to play that afterwards as well. Uh, so let's get that there. Keep these vents up. I want to kill something with Foe Hammer too. All right, questing. We don't want to progress here. Um, I want to stall for a little bit longer just to get an unexpected courage onto fast dread, really. Uh, so we're going to be up against three. I think we want to quest for at least eight to clear that out and maybe put a couple on there. So let's do five, six, seven, eight. And that would just equal that. So we'll do 11. Looks good. Reveal one. Southron Soldier for three, so we make five. So we clear the active location perfectly. I will travel there. Um, I'm not going to engage him. In counter phase, he will do an attack. Uh, I think we can take the progress off, that's fine. And then I'm going to slaughter that soldier with Dune here. He will attack him for seven uh, because his engagement cost is higher than my threat. So I'll kill him and then I'll foe hammer. Exhaust the weapon and draw three. One, two, three. Very nice quest in power. All right, refresh. Another weapon, wow, loads of them. Okay, I'm gonna play the Honor Guard for two. I will play Arwen for two. And she is always gonna give her defense boost to Fast Dread. So I will put him at five defense. And that's probably all I'm gonna do. I'll keep resources for Test of Will and Hasty Stroke here, I think. All right, so we will quest for probably six, seven, eight. I think that seems like plenty, considering we're in up against one. Uh, committing eight seems fine. Uh, if we get another fourth threat location, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, Broken Courtyard, one threat, and it surges. While Broken Courtyard is in the staging area, the main quest cannot have progress tokens beyond its printed quest points value. Okay, surge into another Southron soldier. So he adds three, one, two, three. So we get three progress, one, two, three on there. Okay, um, in counter phase, I'm thinking I will engage him just so I can trigger Fast Red's ability. So I either remove two progress from the main quest or he makes an immediate attack. I'll take that. He's gonna be defending for five. No shadow effect, so I will bounce into the staging area and lower my threat by two. And then the Black Serpent will make an attack. I will stop that one with that progress on there. And there is nothing else to do except slaughter this soldier with Dune here. He kills him, and we refresh. All right, I'll play the Refugee for two, and I'll probably play the um, Steward of War Thank here which means that I can give an event doomed one to draw a card whenever I play an event. And I'll also play Captain of Gondor onto Fast Tread, so he can potentially get to six defense now. Uh, did I quest with Arwen last turn? I didn't, but he wouldn't have done any damage. So let me bring her down here so I don't forget to do that. Um, so we will do 
Let's see, we want to put some progress on here and get past that. We're up against two. So I'll do three, four, five, ten, I think. That looks good. Reveal one. Bold and Grim, Surge Doomed One. When revealed, deal one damage to each hero with an objective attached. No problem. I'll cancel that damage. Doomed one now. Surge into an archer. Two threat. So we make six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. That clears the bastion. And I will travel to the courtyard. Uh, encounter phase. I think I will engage him and remove the two progress. Again, we just want to stall at this stage for as long as possible until we're ready to deal with stage two. Um, he will make an attack. I will take a progress off to stop that as well. Shadow card for this guy. Defend. And because I optionally engaged him, I can also give Fast Dread another defense. Uh, so he'll be six defense now. Either remove two progress from the main quest or return attacking enemy to the staging area after this attack. Mm, typical. Can't actually trigger the ability now. Or I could cancel that, I guess. Um, I might cancel it, actually, uh, with Sterner and Steel. And I'll give that doomed one to draw a card. And uh, I will use Fastard's ability to bounce him. I forgot the archery, so I'll deal that out now. There's two. And I will use Dune here to kill him and get him out of the game. And refresh. Just keep cycling like this until we're in a position to get to stage two. Um, I'm thinking we're getting close. Really all we want is something to stop the Black Serpent from destroying us uh, when he becomes engaged with us. And as long as we've got a chump blocker, we'll be fine. Uh, so I think here I'll do probably one, two, three, and play another Steward of Orthanc. And we will quest four. We're up against one. So I'll commit five, eight, nine, ten. Seems like plenty. Uh, reveal one card. Nowhere to hide. When revealed, the first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded and puts that enemy into play. Engage with him. Okay. There we go. Serpent Guard. Uh, and when he engages you, either remove two progress on the main quest or enemies engage with you cannot take damage this round. So I cannot take two progress off because there's only one on there. Um, so he will get that force effect to go off. So I get nine progress, which means it looks like we are going to the next stage. Uh, so we get three on here and six on there. So we will go through. We go seven and then we progress. So battle in the camp. When revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. The first player randomly selects one set aside Harad objective, reveals it and adds it to the staging area. Okay, let's do that. So we will shuffle this in. Oops. There we go. Shuffle it in. And then I pick one of these. Again, I'll do a random number. One to three for this one, four to six for that one. Okay, one. So we've got the banner of the serpent. Uh, guarded by an enemy or location. So let's find out what we've got. An enemy, typical. So he's going to go on there. Uh, while that's attached to an encounter card, each Harad enemy gets plus one attack. And we can use this uh, action, exhaust banner of the serpent and raise your threat by one to give each harad enemy engage with you minus one attack until the end of the phase. Okay, so we go to the next stage. If a harad objective is not attached, the first player claims it and attaches it to a hero he controls. The black serpent is considered to be engaged with each player who controls a harad objective. This stage cannot be defeated unless each harad objective in play is attached to a hero. All right, here we go. So we have to take a bunch of attacks now. So in counter phase, I am not going to take this guy down. Uh, so that means this guy now, the Black Serpent is going up to four attack, three defense, two threat. This guy will be four attack. So he's going to make an attack on me. I will defend this with fast dread here, I think. Nothing, so no damage. Then combat phase, he is going to get a shadow card and he's going to get one too. I will chump block the Serpent Guard with the Refugee first. Plus one for each round objective, so the Refugee is truly dead. And then the Black Serpent is coming in. I'll probably chump this with the Ridden Mark's Finest, although I'm sort of tempted on the Steward of Orthanc, but I think I'll do it with them. Uh, so let's do that. No Shadow Effects, so they're going to die. And then attacking back, I've got Dune here. 
Um, I will use him to slaughter this Southron soldier because he's not immune to player card effects. Um, he's just giving everything plus one attack for holding the banner. So he will die, and then I get control of this immediately. And I'll give that to Fastred. All right, next turn, refresh. So what we want to do now is power quest through stage two. Uh, let's do that. So play Galadriel's Handmaiden, lower our threat by one. And I think here I'm going to play Dagger of Westerness onto Eowyn just to give her a little bit more attack power. Because uh, she could potentially go up to 12 uh, if she's attacking against him. So that'll be very useful. All right, questing. We'll do 6, 11, 13, probably 15, I think. And that should see us through that. I think it's probably excessive, to be honest. Maybe I could take her out. Let's take her out. So we'll go down to 13. Reveal one card here. Serpent Guard. Yep, didn't need it at all. So we go up to three. We make 10 progress. So we've absolutely pulverized that stage. Go to stage three. It's exactly how you want to do it. You want to get through that one as quickly as possible. Uh, when revealed, randomly select one set aside her objective and add it, attach it to the Black Serpent. So he's going to get the Garb, which is quite nasty because he's now immune to player card effects. And he's going up to four four threat and he will go to five because of the quest stage. Um, shuffle the encounter discard part into the encounter deck and reveal one encounter card per player. All right, let's have a nice one, please. That's not a nice one. Don't let them escape. Forced, at the end of the round, discard all progress on the main quest. Forced, after this quest is chosen as the current quest, reveal an encounter card. So we need to clear that, in other words. Okay, if a Harad objective is not attached, the first player claims it and attaches it to a hero he controls. While there are at least six progress tokens on this stage, the Black Serpent loses the text, cannot leave the staging area or take damage. So we need to get six on there and then engage the Serpent and kill him. Uh, this stage cannot be defeated unless each Harad objective in play is attached to a hero. If the players defeat this stage, they win the game. Okay, no problem. So he will make an attack on us in the encounter phase. So I will bring down the Serpent Guard and his forced effect goes off. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, he was going to engage me anyway, so I'll optionally engage him and uh, use Captain of Gondor. This guy's going to make an attack. I think I'm going to chump this one. Let's see. Either remove two progress or return it to the staging area. Yeah, sure. So my steward dies, and then we go to the combat phase. Now he's not engaged anymore, so he doesn't make an attack like he did at stage two. Uh, he's just going to sit there. I will defend one of these with fast dread. Choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area, engage it, and did a shadow card. Nothing in there, so that whiffs. And he's not uh, three or four attack anymore. He's three, so I am going to bounce him and lower my threat by two. And now I've got this guy coming in. I'm thinking. Probably defend it with him, and if I need to, I can give him minus one attack so that the honor guard survives. So let's do that. If it's non-unique, either attach a Harad objective you control to attacking enemy, or it makes an additional attack after this one. You know what, I'm just going to cancel that with hasty stroke. So the honor guard will take two wounds. That's good, he survived. And then attacking back, I'm going to slaughter that serpent guard there. So he's dead. And there's nothing I can do to this one, so I will refresh. Nice card to draw now, very nice. Um, I am going to use that on Fast Dread. So he will have a ready. And I think I'm going to use the summons from Mordor to add a resource to his pool, so that I've got a uh, test of will available to me. I'm going to quest for 11, 13 here up against five, which is quite nasty. Do we want a little bit more? Let's go with the Handmaiden. So we'll go 15. Reveal one card. Chaos in the Night. When revealed, the first player must choose. Either raise each player's threat by three, or progress cannot be placed on quest cards until the end of the round. Well, it was a good job I kept that test of will available to me, but I think, to be honest, I can take the three threat here. So I will do that. One, two, three, and I will get 10 progress. Uh, ah. Uh, I forgot about don't let them escape, so never mind. Maybe we can kill him this turn. Okay, so we get 10 on there. Uh, let's think. If we bring him down, I can defend him with Fast Dread. 
and then I can kill him with Eowyn's ability. So that might be a good play here. Let's bring him down. End of the encounter phase, he will do an attack. I will take away the three progress. Uh, hang on a minute. Hmm. Yeah, X is in the main quest, not his threat. So we need to take away three. So one, two, three. And then he won't do that attack. And then we go to the combat phase, shadow card. I will defend uh, him with fast dread. Now he can be six defense because I optionally engage the black serpent. Nothing. So no damage. And then I'll ready him and defend this guy. Plus one for each of our objective. So he will be five, which is not going to do any damage either. And I'll probably bounce him and lower my threat by two. Why not? And now here, I think I can trigger Eowyn and win. I need to do 12 to him. So I will trigger Eowyn, one, two, three, and she will come in for 10 plus two, because his engagement cost is higher than my threat. Let's chuck in Dune here for another two. So 14, 15, 16, 17. So he is well and truly toast. And that means we claim the Serpent's Garb and we win the game. There we go. Black Serpent defeated. That was a pretty straightforward run, to be honest, compared to the one I did previously. Um, still, though, tricky quest, and you do need to play carefully to get through it. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to post a comment and let me know what you think of the Harad cycle so far. Um, I'm enjoying it personally. I'd love to know what you think. In the meantime, thanks as always for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.